What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. It is 8.40. I woke up at 8 this morning to go to the outlet, uh, the Southeast Portland outlet with my friend Kevin. Uh, he went for the opening, but they open at 7 now, and you have to wake up at like 6 if you're going to get there. And I didn't even get home until 10.40 last night and then cooked dinner after that, which took a while because I did the chicken and pasta. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, <laughs> I'm super tired. Um, didn't get enough sleep, but I'm really excited. I'm going to have a lot of fun uh, going hunting with Kevin. Um, we look for the majority of the same stuff as each other, so there's a little bit of competition, and he's already been there for, you know, for almost two hours without me now, so he's going to have a ton of stuff to start. Um, he's got a couple things for me. He grabbed me a Teddy Ruxpin, which he sent me a picture of. Um, that'll be for the store. And then I'll just have to wait for new rotations and get stuff out of those and dig through, you know, stuff that everyone else has already picked through already. But that's all right. After the outlet, we're probably going to go to one or two other regular Goodwills and we'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe even more. I'm stuck in traffic right now. Um, there's lots of traffic. Hopefully you guys can see that. I can, when I turn the phone, I can't see what I'm filming. Um, but it's 841 driving into Portland on a Tuesday. So of course there's going to be traffic. Portland has one of the worst areas for traffic in the entire country. So I'll probably get there in about an hour, hour and a half or so. I just got here. I hope there's carts left, but probably not. So I'm going to get inside, start digging around, show you guys what I find here in a bit. Oh, perfect. Here's a cart. To say what up, people. Designed for murder. Play therapy with abused children. We have like eight copies of this at the store. Oh, really? Glitter slime. Ew. Have you seen this movie? Indian in the Cupboard? Yes. Actually, went to the theaters when it was out. Scared the crap out of four year old me. We had to leave. Why? Because I was a little baby boy. <laughs> but it it's a, a good movie. movie. Like, it's a really good movie. You know I'm still doing the lots. <laughs> oh, Leapfrog stuff? I have oh like 400 of them. Oh my. Cooper, you gotta think, who's gonna buy that? Nobody. I'm gonna do them in smaller bundles. Okay. Then you'll have a way to sell them. So here's my cart. Oh yeah, let's show them what you want. Meowth with the tag. Going into the collection. Uh -huh. This Teddy Ruxpin I most generously donated to Cooper's cause. Yes. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> we have a Gumby. We have a Yoda and a South Park guy. And an Iron Man or Iron Giant lunchbox. Set tape. Halo figure. These cool Atari retail sales manual binders Very that cool. have like just all sorts of random stuff in it. I don't know if they're worth anything, but they're worth grabbing for sure. There are like some letters between exec maybe not executives, but workers at Atari too. That's yeah. just like kind of stuff you never really see. Minish cap manga. <laughs> MagSafe 2 power adapter. Some other random stuff. And a PS3 hard drive. Yeah, 80 gig. But yeah, nothing like super crazy. Kevin got all the crazy stuff. What are you gonna do? All right, so we just left the outlet. There's a semi over here backing up. Kevin's putting stuff in his car, and I gotta put stuff in my car, then we're gonna go get some food. So I'm gonna go through and show you guys what we got. Got that big Meowth pillow, cuddle pillows is what the tag says. That's for the collection. Got a Yoda for the store. South Park, Gumby, and another South Park. Kevin gave me the Teddy Ruxpin and he's electrical, so I got him for 69 cents a pound. So he probably cost about, I don't know, $1.50 or so. And then I got that Iron Giant lunchbox. It's filled with some like dollar toys and stuff like that. It doesn't ever want to open. We have a Pichu plush, a sexy shirtless toad plush, dollar toy cassette, then just like some random, some random dollar toy stuff like this, an empty case for a 3DS game, 
and a little stack of Game Boy Advance manuals. Pirates of the Caribbean, Harry Potter, Drone Racers, another Star Wars, and Lego Star Wars. That's pretty cool. A couple little things of Legos. I ended up finding two of the Atari binders and she gave me these for the price of a magazine. So those are 39 cents a piece. I have no idea what they're worth. Got that Minish Cap manga. That was also 39 cents. Two VHS for the store, G.I. Joe and Power, Powerpuff Girls. I spent a total of $22.76. Got this big Master Chief. He's got a broken finger, but the last one we sold also had a broken finger. This thing's about 15, 20 bucks on eBay. Found an Apple MagSafe 2 charger for a MacBook. This is about 40 last time I checked. Forgot to look up this little creative uh, speaker. It's probably not worth too much. This remote, there's only one sold on eBay for 25, but none posted. Got a little Canon camera here with a extra battery and the charger. It's about 40 after fees and shipping on Amazon. This little cassette recorder I didn't look up. I got three of the Electronic 20 Questions games, all different colors. These are pretty good sellers on Amazon. They're not worth too much though. Another little battery charge, that's about 10, 15 bucks. This little thing is 10 bucks after fees and shipping. It's a wireless mouse. Got a vintage Logitech mouse. This is about 10, 15 on eBay. Here's Kevin. What up, here? <laughs> got that PS3 hard drive, an Xbox 360 breakaway cable couple Rubik's Cubes to put in a lot on eBay. I've sold two lots before. They always do pretty well. A couple LeapFrog games will also go in lots. A little thing of RAM that is saved for a lot as well. And a couple more dollar toys and one Skylander figure. So we're going to Killer Burger. Gonna get some grub. All right, let's go. Look at that meathead burger. Yes. In the barnyard. We got the ham, the egg, the beef, the bacon, mm. the whole barn. The whole barn. We ate our food and we're back at the outlet. <laughs> Once again. We're just coming to pick up scraps, but you never know what we'll find. We didn't find anything at the outlet on our second trip in. Not a thing. So now we're at 6th Street Goodwill. This is a big one. This is like the biggest one in the area. Look at these Shadow of the Colossi. All three of them. Yeah, we got a couple. A couple good ones. Woo! There's some more here. Oh, another Rocksmith! <laughs> awesome. This Wii Fit is kind of sealed. It's kind of ripped up. Ugh. That's all the games? These have such a big game selection here. Kevin's leaving. Adios, peeps. Well, we're both leaving. Right. <laughs> so, it's cool hanging out, and yeah. we're gonna do it again probably on the 7th, because the next two weekends that I have off from the store is Christmas Eve and then New Year's Eve. So, I'll spend those with Abby. Right. <laughs> but on the 7th, we can go. Oh, and Kevin gave me a Game Boy cleaning kit. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. So, yeah. Stuff, man. <laughs> Stuff. Later, peeps. So I did get a few things at that last Goodwill. This little timer thing was five, going for about 18 after fees. We got a couple CDs here. Those are all for Amazon. And then two games, Rocksmith and Battlefront 2. We sold this one at the store for 20, this one for 18. Kevin also got a copy of this because he has the cable for it. So, on home. What'd you do today? Nothing. Tell the peeps. Tell them. I got a tattoo. Where? <clears throat> On my leg. Can we see it? My leg. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. Ugh. It's not done Ready? yet. You're getting it done when? Uh, February. February. What? Did he do that part? Nope. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. It's just one little piece that he missed. <laughs> Very cool. What did you do? I went goodwilling. With who? Kevin. Tall Kevin? 
Yeah. <laughs> so it is the next day right now, guys. And I just wanted to kind of like film a little outro here. Um, Abby and I ended up falling asleep at about 8, 8.30 last night, which is super, super early for us. Typically, we're going to bed at like 1.30 to 2.30 a.m. And the reason is that um, I, last night, got home after going to, well, not last night, a couple nights ago, um, got home from, left the store, went to Winco, came home and made that uh, chicken pasta, and didn't end up getting to sleep until maybe like 11.30 or midnight, and then, or maybe even later, and then I woke up at 8 o'clock in the morning, obviously, to go out at the beginning of this vlog with Kevin and go to the outlet. And we were, I didn't get back into Vancouver until about 5.30. And then um, Abby and I had some more of that chicken pasta, which is really good. We have tons of leftovers. And then uh, we just, we tried to start watching Better Call Saul and we were both nodding off like 10 minutes into the episode. So we ended up just taking a nap. We, we both woke up again at about like 11, 10.30, 11. Stayed up for a couple hours and went back to bed. Um, Abby had her tattoo appointment yesterday, obviously, and it doesn't seem like that would be something that is that is tiring or exhausting, but it really, really is. It's crazy how tiring getting a tattoo is. If you're getting something small, it's probably not a big deal, but like the the pieces that I get and the one that Abby just got, they're pretty big and sitting in an uncomfortable position for hours on end just in constant pain is tiring so we were both super super tired and we just went to bed really early so we didn't really film too much um, after i got back home but i did want to at least film a little outro here and just say thank you guys for all your support um videos have been doing pretty good lately subscriber count is is always growing which is awesome to see um, we're at like 14,000, almost 400, I think, which is crazy. I remember when I hit like a hundred subscribers when I first started and I thought that was insane. And then, you know, hitting a thousand and was crazy. And we didn't like, when I started doing the daily vlogs after having my channel for however many years, like five or six years after having my channel, I started doing the daily vlogs. And when I started doing them, I want to say we were at like 4,000 subscribers. And so just since starting the daily vlogs, we've gotten about 10,000 subscribers, which is crazy. We hit, we hit 10,000 last February when I was in Florida for the last tour. And we have another tour coming up this February, which is awesome. And so I'm really excited to see where we are, at, you know, at the beginning of February, because like I said, we hit 10,000 last year. And that's like a perfect little marker at the beginning of February to see in one year how big the channel has grown, which will be awesome to see. So thank you guys for all your support. It's definitely appreciated. We love making videos. Well, Abby doesn't really love making them. She obviously leaves most of that up to me. But... I, we, you know, we both, we both love doing it. We love having people that come into the store and they say that they watch the videos and enjoy them. It's really, really cool. And we love meeting you guys whenever we can. So I'm hoping that on this tour, um, some of you guys will be able to make it out to some people that I've never met before and we can hang out for a bit at the show and chat and everything. It'll be a lot of fun. So guys, that is going to be it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow.